a little bit about myself and my musical background. I was born in Chicago and always uh, listening not only to classical music when I grew up, but blues, of course, in Chicago, all kinds of great popular music. And, you know, I was thinking a lot about the Beatles this week because I've been reading this great um, new book by uh, the New York Times writer Alan Cozen um, about some of the early recordings in the Beatles oeuvre. And, you know, at about five or six, I think, was the first time I was really listening to um, Beatles stuff and uh, Revolver and the White Album at the time, which some of which might have been a little bit over my head. But the thing that really impressed me about that music that I've tried to carry forward is that it struck me it was just so incredibly daring and experimental sonically using all these interesting recording techniques and electronic manipulation that itself was influenced by avant-garde composers of the time like uh, Stockhausen. But it was also, as we all know, music that's incredibly accessible and um, melodic. And I feel like a lot of times in the contemporary music world, there seemed to be some kind of schism that there's either music um, and this goes for all art that that's either intellectually satisfying or else it can appeal to baser instincts. And to me, the really great works of music like all art are something that engage you on all levels, both emotionally and intellectually. And I've tried to carry that quality that I found in a lot of the great pop music I grew up listening on in the classical world. And I also like to bring a lot of the sense of fun, the sense of almost improvisatory wildness that you hear in a lot of popular music and bring those things into the context of the classical concert hall. So I'm usually writing stuff for like string quartets, orchestras, starting on an opera. Um, you know, I'm not writing stuff for electric guitars, usually at least, but what I'm trying to do is just almost sneak into that more conservative classical world and update it with some of the sensibilities that have come to animate how we really tend to listen to music in this day and age.